Hello everyone, my name is Loco, and today we're gonna do a little bit of a different something. As some of you might have noticed, a little while ago actually YouTube introduced a new kind of comment system. Now, I am personally not really affected by this so much, but I just wanted to make a quick video about it because a lot of people have been asking my opinion about it and I think it's good to actually discuss these kind of changes on the YouTube channel as well. So basically what YouTube did is actually introduce YouTube Google Plus comments. So everything you post on YouTube is basically posted from your Google Plus account, which means that it posted from your real name or your supposedly real name. Now. When you first think about it, the idea is actually pretty good. You're actually allowed to use one single Google account for every single Google service. And obviously, um, YouTube is owned by Google. So everything you do on your Google account will be all like shared across all platforms. And I personally really like that idea. Now there's one problem with this though, is that it is not willingly done. People are actually forced to use their Google Plus account now, opposed to their YouTube account. You can't actually just make a new YouTube account because it will automatically be a Google Plus account. Now Google Plus on its own, it's actually not bad. In my personal opinion, it's much better than Facebook with once more. It is forced, okay? You can't actually choose to do so. You are forced to use Google Plus, even if you don't even want to do anything, but just post a single comment on a YouTube video. Now besides the whole privacy issue, I'm not really going to go into that, but there's just a whole lot of things just straight up broken with the current YouTube comment section. Now like I mentioned, my channel isn't really big, but if you go to a video of like PewDiePie's or whatever, and you actually click one of the links that someone posted in the comment section, you might just end up with a virus, malware, a screamer, uh, you, you just end up, up with all kinds of fucked up stuff and you really, really have to be very careful about that. So that is the first issue right there about the new YouTube comment section. You can post internet wide things. And while that it makes sense because you're allowed to do that on Google+, it doesn't make any sense to have such a system on YouTube because it allows people just straight up post links in the actual comment section that people can click and go to all sorts of websites. It is not monitored, there's absolutely nothing that can be done about it currently, and worst of all, people can actually upvote that comment. Okay, upvoting is not what it used to be, okay? You remember when there was like a thumbs up button next to a comment? Well, I guess that's still there, but it's not how it's actually decided anymore. The way it is decided is by the interaction that one post makes. So let's say I post a comment and I post something very disturbing on, on someone's video. People start commenting on that and that is actually counted as interaction. So what that thing allows me to do is actually be one of the top voted comments on that specific video just because I posted something disturbing and people decided to respond to that. So let's say you actually posted a virus on an actual YouTube video, okay? People actually respond to your comment saying, people do not not click this thing because it is a virus. The system on YouTube currently detects that response right there as a popular post. It will actually upvote the damn thing to the top of the comment section and that actually allows everyone to see this damn comment. And I think that is so ridiculous. There's absolutely no reason why that should ever be in a YouTube comment section. And I just do not understand the way Google decided to go about introducing this system. Because it basically is a way to just straight up feed the trolls. YouTube just actually allows trolling and it actually supports trolling. It is actually actively supporting trolling by upvoting the comments of trolls or of virus spammers or of link spammers or, or whatever. It actually promotes that now. Now I think that is by far the biggest reason why the YouTube comment section is currently pretty much a hidden and abandoned terrain. You should really not click anything in the comment section, you should really not respond to anything in the comment section, and I am very disappointed by that because I really like reading you guys' comments. Now like I said, my channel isn't really as big as, as someone like PewDiePie obviously, but still, you just get the point of how important this is. Now besides that, there's the obvious problems, like how many uh, Barack Obama's have you seen posted on YouTube? How many Adolf Hitler have you been posting on YouTube? You know, there's just people that can actually just pick whatever name they want. They will get banned, obviously, but they will just be able to create a new Google account and start posting under that name once more. And uh, it's just so silly. Okay, so what should be the fixes in my opinion? First and foremost, remove all upvoting. Just remove it. Even in the old system, it was here like two weeks ago, even in that system, you were not 
really allowed to click any links in the chat anymore because everyone was just posting crap there anyway. There were like actual bots that were upvoting hidden links and stuff and it's, it just doesn't work anymore. Just remove the whole upvoting system or just fix it in a better solution. But for now, I think the best way to fix it is just get rid of it. Second of all, which I even haven't touched much yet, is the character limit. People can actually post entire scripts of like the Star Wars movies in the comment section. There is no character limit anymore. Put the character limit back. I don't understand why it's not there. I understand that it might not be useful to have a character limit on something like Google+, Plus, but really, why would you want, like, unlimited characters in a YouTube comment section, right? If any comment is longer than that, no one is gonna read it ever. And besides that, just remove all kinds of um, actual comments that contain links. Either that, or maybe use like the verified system, where you kind of like whitelist certain pages or certain websites that you can actually post to. For example, like big news websites like Reddit, like, you know, like big websites that actually have some use. Oh, well, that's pretty much it. I want to thank you guys all for watching. Those are my thoughts on the current YouTube system and what is happening right now. I'm very curious where things are going, but hopefully you share my thoughts. If you do, let me know in the comment section. I will try and read it. I hope I can. Well, thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile, and I'll see you in the next video.